Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Forest Frontier. Uh, we are doing pretty well. Um, in between the episodes, I did add a little bit of customization to this mock square of us. Uh, these are just plazas that I've started building in here. And that's a little garden trail just to make this square a little bit nicer. Um, there's a new icon that popped up in here and that is this building is condemned. Select to repair or destroy. Okay, can we, is the question is, can we destroy? It doesn't seem like we can. So I don't, I don't know what, what that actually means. But anyway, in the last episode, we finished off our palisade fence. We've got a number of defensive towers up and I believe, are we still hunting stuff in here? Yeah, we are. There's in fact, there are some stuff in here. So I think the next thing is we're, we're capped at 180 of 180 uh, population. And so potentially that's the next step for us. Let's have a bit of a look here. Um, people are still concerned about food and we're not getting quite enough in here. We're building another. Um, so there's a rat catcher being built over here, but there's also another arborist being built so that we can get a little bit more food um, from that side of things. We do have a... A cheese maker up and running um, that should generally be able to produce a fair bit of food for us also so that's the rat catcher just want to move it a little bit over so we are oh, actually that one doesn't need anything so we could we could cover the market using it it doesn't seem like the the windmill needs rat catcher action so what we could do is we could move it over this way and cover uh, cover the market that seems pretty straightforward oh all of a sudden we now have a rat problem now that we have a rat catcher that's quite interesting let's build another one so that we can cover our off these buildings at the top here another rat catcher we should be able to afford that pretty comfortably we'll we'll pop it in here and that should be um, fair enough. So that should be good. We should be able to get um, the rats sorted out um, doing it that way. Uh, people are pretty happy now. We've got most of the stuff that we need. Um, so that's all good. How many fruit are we getting? Not that much actually. So the next thing I think we should be doing is seeing about potentially expanding this. I'm not going to expand up to that edge, but what I'm going to look at here is seeing about expanding the um, to this side now I do understand that it could be a little problematic so what I'll do is I'll do that and that gives us a 9 by 10 uh, which should be all good so we'll do 9 by 10 over here and then we'll do probably 9 by 10 on the one next to it so let's see if that actually does make a difference there that would be pretty good to see that uh, we'll try and uh, I'm just not I'm just worried that this isn't actually going to do anything so we'll wait a little bit um, before we do the others to see if that one works yeah we still have a few a few rats in play here I still don't know how we actually get this thing removed but that's okay we'll we'll figure it out there's still a fair bit of oh, there's not that much actually it is uh, it is being picked off by this one so that's all good what's in here yeah, nothing too major, really. Okay, so some of the other things. We need to start laying out our next piece of town because we do need to expand on that population there. I did think about... Let's let's have a quick look. What? Food stocks are low yet again. Ah, a cooper. Let's start off with a cooper. Forget about everything else. Let's just start off with, uh, with a cooper. I think that's going to be um, critically important. Where is the cooper? Somehow, I think it's probably part of storage, right? There it is. That's the cooper. Let's get the cooper up and running. Uh, let's just go back, have a look. The cooper is desirability neutral. So we should be able to just squeeze it in over here. Does it have a... Doesn't actually have anything of particular importance. So I think I'm going to squeeze the cooper in where we could squeeze the cooper this way because there's some places where we can store the barrels here um shall i do a little bit of that yeah let's get the cooper out over here so we'll get the cooper up and running we're going to have people um live in this general area as well so 
should be all good. Let's get the Cooper up and running so that we can store our food a little bit better. That's going to be a, a big part of the a big part of the action for us. We should have a fair bit of flour um, available. Uh, we do not. Do we have no we we have no flour available? Is it heavy tools? A few hobex or or hobex hobex? I have no idea how to say that. But some sand, yes, actually willow is popping in a little bit. We should there. That means we should have some baskets. Yes, baskets are popping up. Um, that's all good. Uh, there's a fair bit of beans available. So food isn't too bad, but we could certainly do um, with a little bit more. There's some grains available, so that means flour should be created. But yeah, we do need to potentially expand this guy a fair bit so that we can we can run that. Now, um, before we do that, I think. I'll try and run a little path this way and that way. So let's just run a path up and down. No, 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 don't do that. That's it's weird that it doesn't actually want to do. There we go. Oh, man, that's actually looking pretty good. That's actually looking pretty good around there. So let's get that up and running. We'll uh, try and sort out these areas. So it is actually still doing the um, the uh, the turnips for us. So that's that's all good. And then we'll go about once we've got that one in place. We'll go in about and expanding the rest. Um, what I'll do is I'll build an extra an extra little hunter's lodge just to make sure that we keep getting that up and running too. So going to food production, we'll grab ourselves a hunter's cabin. Uh, in which location? That spot there isn't bad for a hunter's cabin. Probably not going to put another. Um, so we'll put a hunter's cabin over here. And then we'll move it down into this area to come and hunt some stuff. I think that should be good. Bit of a hill over here that could work as well. Now, with that in mind, the cooper is being built. The rat catcher is done. So let's just make sure that the rat catcher is, in fact, catching rats in the right locations. Now, we probably don't need much of a rat catching special over there. So let's just move it that way. So we'll make sure we are, in fact, sorting out our rats as we deal with them. How many? What's our herd like? Eight of 11. So we should start slaughtering fairly soon. I do want to expand the, the settlement. Absolutely want to expand the settlement. I also want to get gold up and running. Let's have a quick look at how many people we have. 23 laborers is pretty low. So we do need to have a look at what we're going to do to expand the setup. So I'm going to grab a marketplace at the amenity side of the of things. So if I place... I, I want to have as little of an overlap as possible without going necessarily going outside. Uh, yeah, these guys aren't actually being treated by, by this one. So I think we're going to do it over here and we're going to run it up all the way to the, to the edge there. I think that's pretty good. And then we'll probably put our, our theater in this area. We can then obviously do another market um, in this spot somewhere over here once we've cleared this one out. Yeah, once we've cleared this one out, we'll, uh, maybe not. We'll see. So we'll start building that just so we get things up and running a little bit better. Um, with that one going in there, we'll also start working on um, another well, probably next door to it over here. Yeah, that's that's all good. So we'll get a well in there too. So we've got some wells nearby. Plenty of wells is what we need. Uh, okay, that's that's getting done. Oh, I like that. I do like that. That's pretty cool. And once this thing is expanded, we should be creating a little bit more food from it as well. Awesome. Oh, this thing is up and running. So let's move it to a place that uh, makes sense to us. So something, actually, something like this, so that we can run a little, a little, um, a little road up to it over there. Okay, so what we would like to do is start planting some more apple trees. 
Uh, so we'll do... There, 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 and there. I think that should work. Then we'll do there. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be a nice little shape there. I think that one might work. That's excellent. That's good. That's good. Really good so that we put as many um, as possible in play here. I think that will be fine. Ooh, actually, actually, actually cancel this one. Uh, I want to make sure we can get the road across. So what I'll do is we will redo that one and plant it uh, like so. There we go. Probably got it a little bit closer there, but that's okay. So it's going to be slightly offset. Oh, well, that actually works quite well. And we'll... Uh, no! Okay, let's cancel that one. Just to make sure we uh, maximize what we can get from it. Awesome, and that one should work. Uh, this one should work. Yes, maximize over there. That one should work. And there, and probably that one won't work. There we go. So that's our next arborist up and running. Or, well, getting our next arborist up and running. This one should really be heading out into this direction. So we'll get that up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start working on that. Uh, I also want to make sure that we in fact do provide a little bit of a pathway all the way to the arborist there. And that should be pretty good for us. The extra arborist will be good. Um, at the same time, I may as well build an apiary. So let's see about reducing the overlap. Uh, we probably need to wait for those trees to come in before we can before we can get that going all good we're heading into winter now we should have a fair bit of food what did we get from the from that oh well well in excess of what we wanted um this one gave us some flax this season and this one gave us both bees and turnips so there should be a fair bit of that going um, we do have sand available to us now we can certainly upgrade some of our buildings things are looking pretty good i do want to get gold up and running but firstly maybe what we do is we get a few more houses in play so that once we get this one built, we'll get a few more houses in play. And that should help us out um, in terms of our expansion a little bit. I can probably speed things up a little bit, at least because now it's winter. This guy is still saying deer sighted here. So interesting, deer are running around in this area. So we can probably add another hunter in this area. So let's do that while, we, while we're here. An extra hunter uh, right over here, and we'll have that one kind of hunt that that specific area. This hunter, I would like us to move just to the outside here. We should have hunting abilities there. Food stocks are low, but we should be hunting. It's interesting with the food stock. Can this thing please just go away? Can we upgrade this guy? Almost. We do need a little bit more um, bricks, though, to do that. Ooh, firewood is getting a little bit low. We should probably look at um, upgrading this. Iron. Really? Iron should be... Uh, iron should be rolling in. Get some more. What's our... What are we, what are we looking like in terms of iron ore? Very little, actually. Very little in the terms of iron ore. So the question really do, does come into play. Do we set up another one? Wow, 30,000. This one is another 10,000 over here. 12,000 over there and 7,000. So this is really the next big one for us to go to. Uh, we'll have a bit of a look. I think at the at this point in time, it's probably all good. We're doing, a, uh, doing this as quickly as we can. I do wonder whether we're going to get raided next time around. Oh yeah, firewood is still holding on pretty nicely. Bricks are coming through. Clay is holding. Yeah, actually, we're doing a pretty decent job, to be honest. Should be able to upgrade to a hospital at some point, I think. 
And we would like to build a theater at some point also. Do we only have the one smokehouse? That thing is moving through pretty quickly. Okay, here 14, and we are moving along really nicely. Uh, 10 out of 11 herd, which is awesome. Uh, I think we've, we're planting the last bits of our trees, so we certainly can start looking at getting our apiary, apiary in place over here. That should be really good. Does, does it get any better than 69? Probably not. So let's, uh, let's just squeeze that one in there, get another apiary going. Flax again. Yeah, we do. We do need to expand these so that they can uh, they can grow. But this is it takes enormous amounts of man manpower to to get that sorted. More taxes has been collected, so we're all good. The food stocks is the biggest issue we have at the moment, and that's driving down the happiness a little bit. So we do need to make sure we keep an eye on that. The market will be popping up in any minute now. So let's start working on some additional housing for our people over here. Uh, let's move it there and there. We'll do that one there and this one here. So we'll get a four new houses going in. I don't think there's anything else here that we need. Apparently we have rats, but we have rat catchers, so should be sorted. Okay, we've got a trader, so let's see what we've got. So this trader is offering and buying coal, but I don't think that's any. There's any need for that. They are buying. Um, they're buying clothing at a reduced price, which we're definitely not going to sell them. They're doing a little bit above average on the soap. So those we do have in stock, we will go ahead and sell just so we up our, our value there a little bit. Uh, we're still struggling with the candles. So we'll have a look at what's happening with the candles at this point. Food is still quite low. We may be able to buy a little bit of smoked fish. Right, that is smoked fish, yeah. Uh, we don't have any of the other stuff for them. They wouldn't mind selling us some other bits and pieces. But in the reality, there's nothing there that we really want. Uh, at least not at those high prices. We may go about... Uh, maybe buying a little bit of, um, of smoked fish here. Let's just do a little bit of that and buy and transfer that into, into the mix. We've only lost three villages since we started the game, so that's all good. Uh, here, we should be able to do some battles. So let's get an extra person in there and start working on the battles. Um, battles um, allow you to save things a little bit longer, so it reduces that red number in terms of when food will spoil. Um, fairly quickly, so I'm hoping that we can um, get, get that kind of sorted out of the way. Okay, there's some more. There's another trader coming in from this side. That's all good. And we do need to start looking at upgrading some of our other um, bits and pieces, um, roads and the like. So let's, um, let's maybe throw a few of them into the upgrade pile. Oh yeah, look at this. Our little plaza around here has, has, has come around about and quite nicely. So we'll just do a few upgrades as we go. Okay, we've got some more compost that we can add somewhere. We'll continue to add it over here. Is this thing done yet? No, we still got 24. Oh, there we go. All good. So the next round, once the flax comes in, uh, we'll be getting a little bit more there. So that does work fairly well. So what I'll do is I'll go about expanding... Um, sorry, expanding. Come on. This gives us a 9 by 10 as well. So let's expand that one too. So we'll get, uh, get cracking on that one, get that one expanded. Um, at the same time, I wouldn't mind running... We'll run that one through there and we'll then be able to expand this one a little bit at least, maybe even into that area there. That's good. So at least they're not super square. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. 
At least they won't be super square. Um, how many people do we need this to work this one? I've no idea, actually. Signed worker seven of seven? It's a little awkward. It's, I'm sure it's not seven. Right, this is three. This is three. That one is seven? Honestly, it's a little weird that it has that many. Okay, we've got another trader in play here now. Um, so we've already sold a little bit of that. Let's move on to trader number two and see what they offer. Um, they wouldn't mind getting some of our sand, but I don't know if we'll do that because we'll pull the glass maker to sort out the sand stuff. I think, I think what we'll do is we will get a little bit of grain. That wouldn't be bad. Uh, is there anything we can sell here that makes sense for us to sell? Maybe sand? Because if we sell sand, if we sell 50 sand, we can get a fair bit of grain, actually. Um, so let's 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 kind of do that. Let's transfer 50 sand um, into this area and we'll sell 50 sand and try and get um, some more grain from that. Everything else is kind of okay. Well, we could do flour directly, but I think that's uh, that's probably okay. This storage is full. Yeah, predominantly seems to be full of um, of gold ingots. So this guy, I think, will slightly start to move it out that way a little bit. Four more villages have been um, have have graduated. Oh, I think these are new people coming in. Uh, we do need to start looking at what we're going to do in this area. The market is being stocked with some food supplies and the likes. A predator has been sighted. Let's just see where this predator is. Okay, all good. All good. Our hunter managed that one. Uh, yes, I think we're all good in terms of accepting some new people. That's all good. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, now that we've got more people coming in... Um, I think we can also start looking at what we can do to expand. So what, one of the first things I would like to do is um, build this out. Okay, 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 hang on. So that's the start there. Okay, so with that in mind, let's, uh, let's just run this guy straight up. Please go straight through. Okay, cancel, cancel that, that last piece there. And then what I'll do is I'll just run this guy. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of tie that one in there. There we go. So at least it's a little bit going for itself there. This one I would like us to... Run that one through there. Um, and then what we'll do is we will go about tying that in. And we'll build a, a little gate over there. We'll also go about running that one into that direction. And we'll, we'll see about the rest. I don't think we can expand in here. But there's plenty of room for us to expand a little bit on this side. So we'll get a couple more houses over here. One there, one there. And I think the theater will go in this spot. That'll help um, the entire area, actually. So that's all good. Nice. Pretty slow um, progress over here. Yeah, that's getting us a fair bit of flax. Food stocks are low again. Constantly low food stocks is what we're dealing with. Uh, if we have a look at this. Oh, hang on. Did our guys leave? And we probably didn't, um, yeah, we probably didn't end up um, selling the sand. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we wanted to get some grain uh, across, but we didn't do that. Okay, at the same time, we can start looking at things like the sand, um, the glass maker. Reservist, no. Let's go for resources and get the glass maker up and running. 
That's the glass maker. Uh, they do need um, all of these stuff that we have in stock, actually. So let's go. Ooh, they they don't don't like. Uh... So what I'm thinking is we'll place the glass maker right over there. Probably need to put some additional storage in this place. So let's grab some storage. We would like to grab the storehouse. Uh, these guys. Storehouse or stockyard? Maybe both. We'll grab ourselves the stockyard. And then we'll maybe see about a bit of a storehouse. Now the issue with this one is we'll probably need to grab an extra storehouse in this location. Yeah, that's going to be all good. All good. So that the rat catcher can actually cover both of them. So well, let's grab a storehouse over there. So we've got a storehouse and there's a stockyard coming in. Um, and then we'll pop in the glass maker on the other side there. So from a resources perspective, we'll pop in the glass maker right next to the storehouse on that side. Nice. A lot of stuff happening for us at the moment. Uh, more rats. So hopefully we, we are sorting that out. Uh, this is all done. I do like that. That's good. Now, shall we see about um, expanding? Um, up to where? Uh, okay, they do. They actually don't. It's 11 by 9 here. So we'll go up to about there and see how they deal with that. That expansion should be pretty good. More villages have been born. Up to 204 people can be accommodated now. What does our, uh, our, our, our 10 out of 11? So we start, should start slaughtering um, fairly soon. We are milking. We're generating a fair bit of that. How much cheese are we making? So do, how much cheese do we have in stock, actually? Not that much. People are eating the cheese fairly quickly. There's a bit of grain available. Uh, can we see any flour? Not. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's like 10 flour available there. So bread should be popping up soon as well. Okay. I think I think all, all, all around the stocks are pretty good. Ah, oh, hang on. So if we... Yeah, we'll have to probably get an extra rat catcher. If we wanted to cover that one. Let's move it over here and then we'll probably move, get another rat catcher uh, on this side in, in due course. But we need to start upgrading these, get more people in place and so on. There's some housing, I mean some roads being built. We may add another gate over here. But yeah, things are looking good. We're out of bricks because we're building, using them. The smokehouse is pretty full. Okay, all good. Again with the low food. That one ran flax. This one is doing some um, some turnips. Hopefully a little bit more. This one not doing that much, but hopefully at, once we get this all expanded, that should be good. And then we can start looking at getting some more over here. Wouldn't be bad. Oh, actually, this is already giving us some fruit. Not bad. And this is giving us a fair bit of fruit too. So yeah, our arborists are coming into play quite nicely now. Things are actually quite uh, nice and quiet at the moment. What does our population look like? Ooh, we're down on the laborers. I should stop building stuff. Apart from uh, more housing, really. We really need to expand our population as best we can now. So let's get uh, more houses in play. If we um, run a couple of houses through here. Okay, that's four more houses that can um, slowly make its way in. Oh, and we certainly need to, um, to grab more, um, more lumber. 
more lumber. The few laborers we do have needs to be used. So let's uh, let's move this guy up into this area. And what we'll do is we'll do a bit of a chop. Um, right there and just get um, the laborers to, to chop a few things there. So this is a glass maker doing its thing over here. So glass will now be produced. Um, ooh, 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 hang on. Did we do two glass makers? No, 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 no. Let's cancel that. I really don't need two glass makers. Apologies. I, uh, I messed up over there. We don't need two glass makers. One glass maker will be more than enough. If anything, we may need an extra um, an extra brick maker, which which will go in there. Hopefully, we can recover the the items, at least that heavy tool, which is the biggest one that I think we need. But I think that should be all good. Uh, for some reason, we don't have someone here, so let's add one, um, and then we'll go and have another look at our people. But yeah, certainly we are a little bit low on our numbers. We're missing a guard as well. We need more people. We need more people very quickly. Um, that's done. This should be done in the next season. Should have had a fair bit of food come in. You still haven't seen any battles. Oh, there's some battles over there. No battles here. Any battles? Oh yeah, battles over there. Okay, so hopefully things are looking a little bit better. We've got a fair bit of firewood. We do need way more lumber. How much lumber are you producing? Very, very little actually. Really very little. Yeah, we need a little bit more here. All of our extra um, laborers is, is kind of dealing with that. Okay, let's make sure that works. Um, I think if I just pop into our stuff quickly, um, things are slowing down a little bit. So we've got iron ore, we've got iron ingots, but we use them pretty quickly. We've got plenty of tools. Probably drop down on the tools a little bit. We've got some um, oberks or armor. Uh, we've got some weapons. Uh, yeah. Why are we building bows? We really shouldn't be building any more bows. It should be, all be... Um, yeah, you really should not be building any bows anymore. It should now all be uh, crossbows that you're building. Wood stocks are low, firewood is low. We'll get through the winter, don't worry about it. That's all good. That should give us um, a little bit more to go on in the next um, in the next season. We're definitely getting more fruit. We're getting more honey. Where is our candle maker? So the candle shop is um, producing candles. Let's have a quick look at our wax. Yeah, so we're start starting to see a little bit more wax going on. So maybe an extra candle maker um, will be good if we have another look at our people. Yeah, we've, at least we've got 12 laborers now, but it's still not enough. It's, it's popped up a little bit more than where it used to be, but it's still not enough. We do need way more people to come in here. But yeah, it's looking good. We are generating a fair bit of tax income, which I'm liking. Okay, we're getting to the end of winter and probably towards the end of this episode as well. How much uh, meat are you making? Yeah, all good with the meat. Um, so as we enter spring now, it'll be interesting to see how many, how many animals we have. There we go, three livestock animals born. And a very variety of other things that uh, that's, that's that's working out for us. So now you will see we have sufficient numbers here. Now my question with this is: Do we actually auto um, auto slaughter when we when we reach that number? That's really the question in my mind. I think so. Butchering meat. So auto slaughter. Auto slaughter is happening so we will see way more food come in from that one lots and lots of uh, gold on our side over here can we start looking at a bit of an upgrade here honestly we need lumber and we need bricks so we we should be able to do that 
No problemo. And we can start looking at a theater. We can also start looking at a few other things, but we first need to get our population up a little bit more. That is the plan. Okay, I think we are pretty much closing out um, this episode. Let's have a look at what's happening with the trade, and then we'll see from there. Oh, this thing's done. Um, so that is getting a bit of fertility, and then we'll move on from there. This one's going to run leaks this time around, which should be awesome. And we're already running peas to give us a fair bit. Then the next one is probably going to be planned out in this in this area here. Okay, one merchant in play. The next one is arriving. So once the next one is in place, we'll have a quick look at what we have there. And another merchant. Excellent. So let's have a look. Pause the game while we quickly um, look at this. So um, merchant number one is interested in some pottery for a pretty decent price. So let's uh, move 100 pottery in there first. Uh, Liquidity split. That should be good. They want planks as well, but they're not paying a lot for it. They could uh, pretty, give us a little bit of fish. Um, but really, look at that. We could sell these guys. That would be awesome. Um, so that looks to be about it. I don't think we're going to actually buy anything. Maybe a little bit of fish, but that's about it. Um, the other trader uh, would like some... Ooh, that would be good. Let's sell about 25 of our tools. 25 tools will give us a lot of money. So let's move 25 tools in there. That'll give us a fair bit. We could also move about 25 clothing. Um, it's going to give us a lot of money there too. That's nice. That's really good. And we could sell honey as well. So let's move at least 50 honey over. That's going to be good. So let's start moving some stuff over. Can we actually buy anything of interest here? We could grab a little bit more clay. That's not quite so useful, though. But a willow. Yeah, really, we're not going to get anything of tremendous use. We could buy a little bit more um, pelts, but I think, I think not. I think not. Is there anything we want to buy over here? Maybe. No. I think not, really. So if we have a look at our... Now people here, actually, you don't have a hauberk, and you don't have a crossbow. Interesting. Trader two, trader one. Oh yeah, trader two is getting all the clothing. I can tell you that much. Um, so let's move our clothing over there. Thank you. Any? Uh, they buying? They selling us tools? So let's move our tools through two. Let's sell those items. So now they're pretty much out. And we'll have to buy something from them if we are wanting to sell our honey too. Trader 1. Oh, Trader 1 is going to get our pottery. Good stuff. We're going to make a fair bit of money out of these trades. And then we'll probably end the episode there. Honey is still coming in. Yeah, we could we could buy some food. We could, def we could definitely buy some food. Come in. Pottery. Okay, pottery is in. So let's sell all of the pottery. That's good. And we will go about grabbing a little bit of food. Yeah, something like that. Let's buy and transfer that food in. That's going to be all good. And then Trader 2 should be getting some honey in now. Only two? Interesting. Yeah, but we should be doing pretty well, actually. Overall, we should be doing pretty well. Uh, we are making glass, so preservers could become quite an interesting one for us. Now, we've got some more stuff here that we can add. Uh, fertility over here. So add your compost on this side. We'll get our fertility going over there, and then we'll have a fair bit more grains coming in. Lots of people um, being sick, so I'm kind of wondering about this upgrade. Probably a, a, a fairly useful one for us. So let's upgrade the hospital. That's going to cost us a little bit more money to run, but I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be useful. Uh, we can certainly sell those 50, sell those items. There we go. 
there anything here that we can grab? Nothing that makes a lot of sense for us to take. Um, we're definitely not selling our stone because that's going to be useful to us into the future also. I don't think we're going to buy crossbows. We are making crossbows. Maybe not very quickly, but I think... Oh, what is this? Oh, that was the homestead. Okay. Uh, just clear that rubble over there and we'll see about what we squeeze in. Let's just build, uh, let's just build a, a tier, a tier, um, a, a standard house here and hopefully... Well, actually, its desirability looks like it is all good now, so it might go up to a homestead straight away. We're definitely doing that. Okay, Raiders are sighted. I'm not going to end the episode then. Let's have a quick look at this. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we don't have any other soldiers, so let's see. Okay, they're through there. They're rushing in. Okay. Actually, we've moved this one up here now. <laughs> so we don't actually have anybody in play. So let's... Um, Let's hit the bell and see what's going to happen. Um, do, 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 do. Where are our... So there's still plenty that's being kind of sorted out here. Are they getting anything? They are getting stuff. <gasps> oh, they're stealing a lot of stuff now. Gold. They're taking the gold. Did we... Were we still trying to sell some stuff? Ooh, we've got some sand. Uh, we have a trader here that's trying to get honey. No, no, no. We've already done that. So really, that's okay. All good. I don't think they're going to get away, though. Yeah, they're not going to get away. Uh... Some may, may get away. Okay, so we had a few people get away here. Hopefully we'll get, get that picked up. Um, so, yeah, we really need to start looking at, at getting that better. So let's uh, rebuild that gate there. All the others held. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of the guys and what they aim to achieve, what they, what they managed to achieve here. Let's, let's drop that and hopefully we can keep working because food will be an issue for us. Food will definitely be an issue for us. Okay, this is coming in. Village was raided. What happened? Ooh, they got away with 800 gold. That is pretty substantial. That's a head of cattle. Uh, the raid size was pretty substantial though. Uh, we will need to start looking at some further upgrades, but I think... The next step really for us to do is get a get a barracks so that we can we can make our way out from there. But I think that's 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 good enough. I think we we've we've dealt with that in a in a reasonable manner. And that's the upgrade so that we actually have a bit of a hospital going on there. Uh, we may as well add an extra person in place there. Um, and have a quick look at how many people. Yeah, we're really low on a, on numbers really low on numbers why um this farm needs as many people i've no idea oh actually they all need a lot of people so let's just make sure they all have their people um and and we'll we'll get as much food from it as we possibly can okay guys i'm gonna call it the end of the episode it's gone on a little bit longer because there's been a lot of stuff that's happened happy we survived the raid but i'm not so happy that we ended up losing um, gold ingots in, in that right. So we do need to um, get a barracks up and running so that we can actually sort ourselves out um, and defend ourselves in a little bit more um, convincing manner. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.